is it's titled the COVID-19 Outbreak Emergency Housing Program. It's a grant program that's administered through the Department of Commerce. And Chelan and Douglas counties, we've made the decision to combine our funding. So we've received a total of $885,447. And it's specifically used uh, for people that need uh, COVID-19 related isolation, so long as they meet a uh, certain criteria. And that criteria would be individuals that um, are in need of, of quarantine and or, sorry, quarantine or isolation um, that might be homeless and unsheltered, or they live in a situation uh, where they can't go home should they be in need of quarantine or isolation uh, without uh, risking exposing others in their household or their families. And then there is another uh, uh, criteria um, or another list of eligibility that would be for individuals that have been displaced from their current shelter due to social distancing requirements uh, because of the outbreak of, of COVID-19 within the shelter. In the categories that you just mentioned, would it also apply to say like health workers who, you know, I'm on the ward, I, I've been exposed, I have kids at home and I, and I don't want to spread this any further than I have to? It absolutely would, yes. And that's something that we're exploring options on right now. Um, they could be uh, housed in the existing facility, um, but we are looking at other options should we reach a need beyond the 50 bed capacity that we've currently reserved, um, that we're looking at other options for other facilities to house emergency service and healthcare workers. But yes, they absolutely would fall under that criteria of, of um, not able to go home without risking exposing others uh, to, to, the, to the illness. So we have secured a site in, in East Wenatchee that's uh, been approved by our health district for being close to medical facilities. Um, we have reserved 50 rooms for the next uh, th two months, so 50 rooms starting at the beginning of April, um, with the ability to expand up to 99 rooms if we meet that need. We certainly hope at the local government and, and healthcare level that uh, we don't need uh, to expand the rooms. But um, if in the unfortunate circumstance that we do, uh, we do have that capacity within this facility. And we've just, we've been reached out, you know, a bunch of different facilities and, and hotels and uh, other individuals have reached out to, to me directly uh, the last couple of weeks with their willingness to partner with us as well. So um, just having that outpour of community support has been really encouraging for the for the future of this program as well, should we need to uh, explore that. So do you have any idea about the numbers of people we might be talking about? Right now, I we do not. Um, we have contracted with Serve Wenatchee Valley, uh, and they are going to be serving, working as our housing coordinator. I know that they've already placed um, a few individual, or one individual and, and her, uh, her baby, um, and thankfully they have been uh, discharged and, and were not, but they were waiting test results. Um, and I know that, uh, that they have a couple other individuals right now, but unfortunately, just with the fluid nature of this virus, um, it's, it's very difficult to pin down exactly what that need is going to be, hence the reason that we've reserved the number of beds we have. Um, you know, we did that with the hopes that we'll never have to fill any of them, uh, but that's becoming uh, more apparent every day that, that they will be filled.